All right, vlog day. It's Monday morning. Just had a long weekend of worship. Had a worship night on Friday night. Had worship on Saturday at an event at the church. And we also worshiped together on Sunday yesterday, and it was a great day. But today I thought, I'll just bring you along to work with me as I do all the things I have to do. I have some packages I have to open. I think I have more coming in the mail. I have a couple calls today, I have a couple emails, and I have a couple things I do on Mondays that set us up for success for the coming weekend. So let's get into it. And the first thing is I update Spotify. That's right, I want my people to sing on Sundays, and so I've created two playlists on Spotify. Whether people have Spotify or not, they can at least see the songs and if they have like Apple Music or just wanna look them up on YouTube, they can do that. Now, it may look like a lot of playlists here, but we have two main ones, This Week in Worship and New Songs. We believe the singing portion of our worship gathering should be Christ-focused. This special time of singing should also be congregational in nature. This playlist was created so everyone can be familiar with the music as they listen all week long in preparation for the weekend, come ready to sing. I started making this playlist as soon as I got to the church and it has really helped people be able to join in and know the songs and it helps me with those conversations where someone comes up and or might come up after the service and say hey I didn't know any of the songs today and be like aha I have a solution for that and I send them to the this weekend worship playlist no more excuses. And then we have the new songs playlist, and I say these are new songs we may introduce in our worship services in the near future. We may. So this is where songs go where I'm kind of like, I've already read through the lyrics, but I'm trying to decide if it would be good for our church. And I'm gonna put some new songs on there today and maybe take some of these old ones off. Beautiful Jesus. I can take this one off because we've just introduced that this month. I've also introduced another song this month, and it's called Jesus Is Better. I don't typically do two new songs per month, but we went all summer long without learning a new song, and both of these really correlate with the series we just started in Hebrews. Jesus is better, beautiful Jesus, Jesus is the best, and that's what the series is about. And so these songs go really well. And we did both of them the first week and the second week, and I'm gonna see how often we will continue to do them. And I have a couple other songs that I've been suggested by the pastor and his wife. We're gonna put that on here, and there's a couple other songs I wanna put on here. All right, the one my pastor suggested was Throne Room Song by Charity Gale. Let's put that on there. Another one is by Citizens called Good Grace. I like the acoustic version because it's actually not that acoustic anyways. Um, it's a great song for preparing our hearts for the word. It's like have the word fall on good ground. We don't want to waste your word is one of the lyrics in there. I, I love that song. And also while I'm here on Spotify, the main thing I do, and I set an alarm every week so I don't forget because I was forgetting every now and then, is that I would put the songs for the upcoming weekend and I need to do that right now. I remove last week's playlists. Then I go to Planning Center and see what the new songs are, and then I put them in there. All right, so there's a set list this week. God So Love, Lived at Wheelhouse. I like that version better. The chords are a little different. Uh, Behold Him, Paul Beloch, Kim Walker. The only song I've ever done, I think, that doesn't have a minor chord in it. Abide, the live worship initiative version, and Great Are You Lord. Abide is in 6-8 and so is Great Are You Lord, and I put them both in the same key and they flow really, really well together. Especially if you just wanna tag Great Are You Lord, that's a good set list idea. You can just come out of Abide and then go, all the earth will shout your praise. You know how the song goes. It's a good one to tag. You can also tag that with Behold Him because that's another one that's in 6-8 and I'm playing them all in the same day. Oh, and they're all in the key of D, look at that. Well, you're not looking at it, you're looking at me. Now you might be thinking, Jimmy, you plan those songs really quickly. Well, actually, I didn't plan them right now. I usually batch my work. So I usually try to schedule my volunteers at least two months in advance, sometimes a quarter in advance. And I try to put my set list up at least a month in advance. And so I try to stay four weeks out. I can do that because I know the sermon series we're in. My pastor puts out a year long preaching text. Now if it changes, they'll let us know. But for the most part, I know exactly which text, what text is gonna be preached. And then I can plan the set list around that. It keeps me uh, in the scripture reading, knowing what's coming up. And if he asks for something, then I can put it in there. But I usually plan a month out. And so right now I would look at matrix mode, which they finally made me go over to the new matrix. I was holding out. I'm an early adopter, but I was holding out. And so I have some work to do, as you can see, because August 20th is what's coming up. I have that set list planned. I have August 27th planned, but I only have one song planned for September 3rd. That one was requested by who's preaching that day. And so I have some work to do. So at some point today, I will go ahead and read the scriptures and pray through it and plan these set lists. While I'm here, I always make sure that we have a full band or I have the band I need and no one's canceled last minute. And it looks like we've got a bunch of people full band. Nice. Oh, I think a package just arrived. Mail. I have a few packages I gotta open. People send me stuff to do videos, you know? 
probably some more in-ear monitors. There's two different brands from the same person. It's the CCA Duo. They sent me these to do a comparison video with these KZs. These are the KZ A16 Pro, AS16 Pro. So they wanted me to put these head to head. I think maybe these are more expensive, definitely a more expensive box, but maybe they're thinking these are better than these and they want me to verify. This, I do not remember what this is. Oh yeah, Mono, thank you. This is their brand new Mono power supply. I wanted this to go on my, my big pedal board over here, but they didn't really send it in time. But I finally got it, and it's supposed to power the HX Stomp, I, I believe, and a bunch of other pedals. It has 10 outputs that output 500 milliamps, so I could do two of them with the current doubler for the HX Stomp, and still have eight more pedals. That would have solved the problem of me having the Chalks DC7, and I wouldn't have had to have added the, um, the extender. I love that board. Can't wait to actually have time to play with it some more. So yeah, thank you Mono for sending me this. I'll be testing it out. Cherub, this is most likely new XFX. The Mighty Light Bluetooth Mark II Desktop Modeling Amplifier. Okay. Amp Academy. A lot of people have been asking me about this, so I asked for another one so I can make more content and not give this one away. And some more pedals. We have the Time Core, which I believe would be Delay, and the Verb Core, which I don't know what that would be. Reverb. And now I'm about to hop on a call with some worship leaders, and I need to hook all that up so I can use this camera for Zoom. Let's do it. One hour later. Well, I just realized I didn't take any footage of our meeting, but I just had the meeting with the worship leaders. It was really good. We talked about a lot of different things. And now I have some other things to work on. I have some emails to follow up on. I have somebody who's interested in the worship team. That's good. I have another audition this coming Wednesday. Even better, growing the worship team. Always a good thing. Which makes me think, do you guys, when you audition for your worship team, do you hold auditions like on a certain day, a certain time of the year? Or do you do them like I do them, which is just as needed. I'm always growing the team. So if someone wants to join, I'm like, yeah, let's audition. The way I do auditions is that I just do it before rehearsal on Wednesdays. But I don't know if that's common. Let me know down in the comments. What do you do for auditions? And if you're not the worship leader, like when you auditioned, was it with a big group of people or did they just do it as needed, like as you joined the church or as you showed interest? <music> Verb core. Oh yeah, I'm excited because it's a stereo in and out and it has all these different algorithms and stuff. Might as well open the time core. Time core. Also stereo, boom, then they both are. That might sound good, especially going into the, oh my gosh, the Amp Academy, which this is just uh, mono though. Did it have an effects loop? I don't remember, let's open it. Boom, there it is, the Amp Academy. So the cool thing about this is it's just XLR out. And so I might put these together and uh, make a little board. That would be cool. Now I just need an overdrive. Too bad I gave away all those overdrives in that giveaway. Actually, I think I have some new X uh, stuff they sent me a, a while back. Oh, I'm glad I remembered this. So we have this right here, the 65 Overdrive Reissue Series. Ooh, ooh, that's nice. It's really kind of cool. Kind of a sparkly brown color. Got these like, these look like retro kind of knobs. They used to have a love pedal that had knobs like this. And then what is this? Oh. The hook, drum and loop machine, which that'd be cool to put on a board like this. That way you can just play over and over and work on your work on your licks. There it is, the hook. I've never really messed with like a, a drum machine before. I mean, I definitely have a looper. And then that reminds me, this company here sent me this uh, pedal board, which is pretty interesting. Let me show you. They sent this pedal board that comes with this case and it's a powered pedal board. It comes with all these cables. It's got these cool lights on it, on and off switch right here. It even has an in and an out right here. So you can just not plug into your pedals, just plug in to like the pedal board itself. And all the outlets are down in there. Comes with Velcro and it says, they give you these charts on how you can, can wire it. Uh, possible connection one and two and three. So these eight isolated uh, power supply things right here are only 100 milliamps it says, but I did test it with a current doubler and hooked up an HX stomp to it with like one or two other pedals and the HX stomp booted up. So 
it had power in there. So I think it would power this whole board right here. This isn't the video for this, but I'm just, just excited to look at it. It would at least fit those four pedals on there, maybe just not have room for this, unless I could find a way. That doesn't fit. So thank you Van Goa for sending this. And I did want to mention, they also sent me something by accident. It was a foldable keyboard that I did not request. And I think they didn't mean to send it to me, but they said, hey, can you make a video about it anyways? And I was like, well, I'll mention it in the video I make about this. So uh, thank you for sending me this and all these other videos I gotta make soon. So make sure you subscribe. Hey, if you, know, if you want to grow as a worship leader, I want to give you a free gift, a free PDF download, it's an instructional thing, stuff that I do to help people be engaged in worship on the weekend. It's a, it's a guide, it's called my six day guide to better engagement. I break it up into six days so that you can implement these strategies every single day up until Sunday to ensure that your people will sing more. They will be more engaged in worship. So go download that, it's over there at heyworshipleader.com or you can just click the link down in the description. My free gift to you. All right, thank you so much for following along in this vlog. I know today wasn't super interesting. I didn't go anywhere. You know, tomorrow I have staff meeting and I have another meeting. And on Wednesday, I have rehearsal and the audition, a lot of things to do that it's like moving around. But today's just a Monday and I want to bring you along. What does a Monday look like? I do emails, I plan planning center, pray through the set list. I do all those things, you know, just regular worship leadery things. The day where we're not on stage, it still counts. It still leads to the end goal. If you're a worship leader, I just want to encourage you, don't give up on a Monday, no matter how the day before went, a new weekend is coming and you got this. Bye.